let's before we start talking about the the HBCU stuff. Uh, how long have you been a gamer? Like, how long have you been into video games and more specifically 2K? Man, um, probably as far as I can remember, it was, it was, it was back when I started off with uh, the NES system. Um, Mario and Duck Hunt were like my first love. <laughs> so, okay, so you must be um, close to my age then, maybe. Yeah. I'm 34. <laughs> From the, from the old school, I'm 34 myself. Okay, there we go. See, I I, I knew it. See, we're we're right in we're right in the same spot there. So, right in the same, right in the pocket of each other. Yep. Right, right. So, yeah. So, uh, definitely. So, are you mostly a sports gamer, or do you do more stuff other than just sports? Um, sports. Well, I, honestly, I get most of my I get most of my exposure to sports. Obviously, um, just mm-hmm. from the designing portions of it um but i i really dabble in, in everything honestly like um i know that i was just visiting my sister uh an hour or two ago and i know she told she was telling me to hop on the vision tonight so i'll probably be on, be on there uh tonight but i mean if you if this if it's playable and you give me a nice uh give me a nice description of it i'll try it out whether it's a shooter or a sports game or rpg or whatever the case is I, I dabble in a, little, in a little bit of everything. Right, right. So talking about gaming, uh, if you're a sports person, a uh, sports person, especially a basketball person, at some point everybody made the switch from 2K to NBA Live. Mm-hmm. Um, when when did when did you make that, or were you always a 2K guy, or? Um, no, not really. Um, I started off. Um, I started off heavily on live. Um, mm-hmm. I I was exclusively on live probably up until like 2000 and which one, I'm trying to think which one was it was T Mac on the cover it was either T Mac or D Wade on the cover I think that was like 07 or 08 yeah yeah Shaq was 07, I, Shaq was 07 2K yeah that's right Shaq yep yep and I had to um I think I made the switch over when I had first cop the uh cop the 360 I think. Mm-hmm. And okay. ever since then, I just been kind of just snowballing his own thing. Um, and that was just, I mean, for one, that was just because I started, we should just actually stop um, producing the way he Right. So there wasn't too many basketball games to go around, but then playing like NBA Street or NBA Jam, whatever the case was. So I've just been kind of stuck on that, just put it off the strength of me being an NBA fan in general. So I just need something just to kind of like hang on to and just keep that connection with, you know? Right, right. So, um, so yeah, so the HBCU aspect of it now, um, where did that come into play? Did you go to an HBCU? Did you have family from an HBCU? What kind of, what, what kind of brought that component into it? Okay. Uh, well, obviously, you know, we being from Fayetteville, we have the North Home Fayetteville State University. Uh, I'm going to talk about that. So I attended there um, after high school. Um, I haven't mm-hmm. quite finished I'm going back to finish my degree in, um, in education, math education. Um, so, so that was really one deciding factor. Um, I do have um, I do have a cousin um, that currently goes to South Carolina State. Um, I know you peeped my story earlier on Instagram. I was rocking by the hat that he got me. So he, um, he actually plays football out there. Um, I believe he's a red shirt sophomore. Or redshirt junior, I think. Um, mm-hmm. you know, it's by, uh, he's, uh, his name is Will Green, so um, he's doing he's uh, you know doing big things out there. Um, but to answer your question directly, though, as far as just me being interested in doing the HBCU kind of niche, I would say mm-hmm. um, going back to 2K, I I'm I used to be really heavy in my like, my league, which is pretty much. Um, you know, you can simulate NBA season with your favorite teams. Um, where the jersey creation comes in at, you can download different templates as to what you want to create. So, for example, if you wanted to play with, uh, well, I guess we can use this case. If you wanted to play like with Central, like with NC Central, um, you can go to the database um, and you can pretty much just download that template to play with whatever teams you have going on with your NBA. Um, at the Lakers. And I wanted to switch over to NC Central I can go ahead and download that and play as them and play as them. You know what I'm saying? So, um, with that being said, 
there was a lot of D1 schools that I saw and not enough HBCUs. I was like, hmm, like, that would be kind of kind of dope if I can just start off you know, making one school and then I was playing with Fayetteville State for a while. People start to take notice and they said, you know, like, why not make uh, why not make A&T? So I made A&T and they was like, well, okay, that's cool. Like, you still hate da 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 Right. <laughs> You know, I have a whole, I have a whole list that you know I'm hoping to to knock out soon. Uh, the work speaks for itself, man. It looks really great, really authentic. Um, now, uh, so we got uh, Steph Curry and Johnson C. Smith. I thought that was. Man, you made those Smith jerseys, and no disrespect, like those Smith jerseys are nice, but you made them look really, they, they look really good on the 2K. Uh, why, why Steph for JCSU? I'm guessing the Charlotte thing, right? Well, okay, so here's the story behind it. So, right. it, wasn't my, it wasn't my choice, first and foremost. It wasn't me. So, uh, Support Black College, um, they actually approached me um, with that idea behind the right. scenes. So, the whole thing was to just highlight or spot like 10, uh, 10 schools, 10 players that, you know, like you were saying, like what if they would have just, you know, um, attended those schools um, for a lot of years of eligibility and, you know, what would happen with them as it is right now. So with Johnson C. Smith, um, he had Steph Curry, so I'm assuming it was this whole Charlotte connection, like you said. Um, and that's where that went. And then, the whole list as far as like what what um what I did was was all on all on the other side. So that wasn't me in particular. And that's gonna probably lead to a whole bunch of um static with the A and T crowd. I'm already feeling it right now, man. <laughs> like I know. Listen, y'all are not gonna fight me over this C P three thing. I was just asked to do it. I know he's supposed to go to Winston Salem State. He's from Winston Salem, I get it. But mm-hmm. You can't shoot the messenger. I'm just, you know. You get off my back. You think I want this? It just happened. Yeah, I, I hear, I hear, uh, I hear the Rams, the ones the Salem State Rams are kind of giving you a, a tough time for yeah. the, yeah. the CP3 in Greensboro instead of Winston Salem. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, disclaimer, I you know, I, I did go to WSSU, so and, and and I had the same reaction at first. Mm-hmm. Um, but I give I, I get where you, I get where you're coming from. Like how loud has how loud has that reaction been or what's been the most surprising reaction? Um, because I know you obviously you did LeBron at uh, Central State. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I mean I'm getting I'm getting notifications on my phone like as we speak right now, like people just hurt. That I didn't put CP3 with Winston Salem State, which I have to say, like honestly, when I when I do these things, I try to be, I try not to oversaturate different players, right? Um, as far as just like using a model, because let's, let's face it, I can probably use like as far as just like I had okay, I had this thing on 2K where certain player builds work better with like when I produce. Uh, mm-hmm. I guess with the body type, whatever the case is. For me, the shorter the player is, or the skinnier the player is, the more, the easier it is for me to kind of like play around with my designs. So, like with CP3 or KD, um, even LeBron, you know, I just kind of like use those three mostly for my templates. And it's easy enough to like saturate them or oversaturate them with different posts, but I try to be as diverse as I can. It just so happened that CB3 was on an A and C template this time around. But I promise when I post the uh, the Winston Salem State uh, um, post in the future, C B three will be front and center on everything, slap on everything. So that's that's, that's I, I got them. So they're they're a tough they're they're tough, tough. Clear. <laughs> they're, they're a tough crowd. <laughs> They're a tough crowd. We saw you had uh so also for people who haven't seen it yet, you had uh Dwight uh Howard on Morehouse. Yes. He's right there, you know. I guess Clark I'm sure Clark Atlanta people didn't give you as much static as the, you know, there wasn't saw, a physical saw, fight over the saw, saw a little bit, I saw it. Got you, got you. So, so there's a whole exact science to it as far as like what, at least in your mind, works and what doesn't. And so, 
for everyone uh, making it clear, you your focus is on the design, so you're not necessarily like modding teams and putting players like you're not creating you're not creating a team and putting the current players on there or something like that. You're mostly uh, doing the design aspect of it and then putting putting the NBA guys in there. Exactly, and you know that's that's just my lane, and I, right. I can mix so many other people that's out there that's doing it on the PC for modding, for right. creating sports and all that. But you know, I'm I'm just the creative side of things as far as the jerseys go. So, shout out to the ones that are you know talented enough to make it as authentic as I can. But if I can just speak for myself, Marvin, no jersey, that's that's me. Yeah, man. Well, you're doing a great job with it. Uh, do you do the courts as well, or you do just strictly jerseys for the most part? Like, if I can, if I can get the courts as as close as I can. Um, right. Two K, two K's um algorithm is kind of limited right now. Um, right. I try to just do what I can as close as I can. Which jersey was the toughest? Which jersey was the tough? I mean, obviously, you've been doing this for a while. Which one was the toughest to replicate? Like, which one was the most intense uh, to do? Time intensive? Um, definitely uh, Prairie View. Um, I haven't posted. I plan on posting that one tonight. Actually, um, their away jersey was crazy. So that was that was um, the first one. And uh, actually, I'll have to probably say. Um, I'd probably have to say, um, yeah, I find the, mo- the, the most trouble I had is just on the design standpoint. Um, if I do have any issues with any of the jersey, <clears throat> um, it will probably be like trying to find the right spine. Um, because truth be told, with the, with the resources that I have to try to replicate the jerseys, um, mm-hmm. I, I, do the, I do the eye test for the most part. And unfortunately, with HBCUs, if there's only there's there's one negative I can say um, about designing HBCUs is that um, I don't have as much access um, mm-hmm. to having, you know, clear pictures or something to go by as in comparison to like, you know, the the, the um, you know, top twenty five D one schools, for example. Oh yeah. As 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 someone who uh, has to create graphics for stories and, and you know, you look for something that says it's a PNG and then you get it and it's actually a white file, a white background and you have to take that and mask it. I yeah, I can only imagine. Oh, yes. um, I can only imagine. So um who are, are all right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put you on the spot. Give me your top three HBCU jerseys right now. Your top three. Top three? Okay. Top three. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a bias. So I have to okay. say I have to say number one, uh Fayetteville State, um back I think a few years ago. No, I'm not even gonna go a few years ago. I'm gonna go back to Daryl Armstrong because that was really my first my first love. Like mm-hmm. that's my guy. That was yeah, the man. one guy um that I looked up to and just his whole swag back then um really you know really captivated me. But Fable State number one, um I've I've always enjoyed Southern's uh jerseys. Mm-hmm. Theirs was always interesting to me. Um and then what three ooh third, third, third. Uh, I I'll, I'll give you I'll give you five. So you gave us two, give me give me give me give me three more. Okay. So Fable State obviously then you got uh, Southern. Um, I've always enjoyed. Um, I was, always enjoyed Prairie View. They had the whole like heat, the, the heat thing going for them. Um, I Texas Southern. Theirs is clean. Theirs is like a, that, that's a classic feel to it. So I, pre- I appreciate them. And a fifth. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and say Winston Salem State. I gotta, I gotta, that's brownie points right there. I gotta say, Winston Salem. Nah, man, say what you feel. But so, what do you, what do you think about, what do, you, what, what do you think about the black jerseys, though? The black jerseys. I, I love. I mean, I, I love black, but kind of, it kind of always brings you back to this like oversaturation, man. Like mm. everyone's doing the black thing right now, which I don't have a problem with. You know, they can, right. They can whatever. But I don't got a problem with black at all. But right. I'm I'm more, I'm more, I'm a classic guy, so if you can if you can kind of wow me with other other colors other than black 
on a uniform instead of just taking the quote unquote easy easy route. Right. So then that's that's me. Yeah, man. Well, definitely a lot of respect for what you do, man. I, I definitely have enjoyed, you know, just watching, you know, just looking at some of your work. Um, definitely. And we want to make sure we leave everybody with your channel. Like, hopefully one day, you know, I, I hope you continue on doing it and uh, get some get some retros. There's some HBCUs out there with some some pretty good retros. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, definitely. So, uh, but yeah, let everybody know where they can uh, where they can see your content. Um, you've given you've given us the Instagram and Twitter. You can do that again, but also um, let them know you know you have your your YouTube channel too. Okay, yes, sir. So, once again, uh, my Instagram and Twitter handle is at Marlu underscore the underscore King. That's M A R L U underscore T H A underscore K A N G. Uh, you can use the same handle on Mixer whenever I do stream. Um, also, YouTube is the same thing, except for no so the spaces instead of uh, the underscores. So it's Marlu the King on everything. Um, okay. Or just type in Marlu and I should pop up. 